Hello everyone and welcome to my next video where we are going to talk about Metabox and Oxygen Builder. Today specifically we are going to talk about relationships and how to connect two separate custom post types. So I already have a custom post type called Teams and another one called Locations. And what this is going to allow us to do is be able to pull information from, let's say, locations into our team. So what I'm going to do to start is go over to Metabox and go to Relationships. We're going to click New Relationship. And you can title this whatever you want. I'll go Team and Location. And next we're going to choose our post type, which is going to be specifically Team. And then at the bottom here, a relationship from two is going to be location. And you can go ahead and click the reciprocal relationship up here as well. And then next, I'm going to click on the meta box setting here and click title. And this is going to allow me to choose the title that shows. So I'm going to call, call this um, relationship with location. Now I'm just going to go ahead and hit publish. Now if I go over to my Teams page, and if I go into each one here, we are going to see that we now have at the bottom here, relationship with location. If you click the little drop down, it's gonna let you choose um, from what you have already made in your location's custom post type. So I'm just gonna start with, uh, we'll do home office on this one, hit update, go to our next one, Do international office on this one. And let's do our last one. And this one we'll do home office again. Click update. And then quickly what I want to show is before we actually go to our next step is I'm going to go to locations and just show you what I have set up here. So all I'm utilizing is the title, the content area, and the featured image. I don't have any custom fields going on here at this point, which um, is not gonna be that much different if you did have some, but this just kind of shows the basic overview. So keep that in mind when we're gonna do our next step, which is building out a view in Metabox. So I'm gonna go over to Views, click on Add New, and we're gonna call this um, Relationship for Teams. I'm gonna set this to my short code type, so I have a short code to paste later. And here, what I'm going to do is um, start with my template and click Insert Field. Now if I go over to my query, you're gonna see I have a team and location here. And if I click my top one here, you're gonna see it adds in some code here. And what I need to do next is now take this insert field here and delete this out. And in its place, what we're gonna do is insert some other fields. So what you saw earlier when I showed on locations is that we have um, some different items. So we need the post title, we need the post content, and then we need the featured image, which is, which I actually think is just gonna be our post thumbnail. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that in now as well. And here it's gonna let us choose what size we want. And I'm just gonna stick with the thumbnail for now and stick with our image tag here as well. Click insert. And you can see that it puts in a lot of nice data here for us, including our alt um, text if we have it, and our height width. I'm just gonna leave this all the same for now. And I think maybe what I'll do is I'm just gonna separate these onto individual lines. All right, and you can close out this insert a field at the top and click publish. 
and go back to our views. Now we can copy this short code here. And what I'm going to do next is go over to Oxygen and my templates. I'm just going to do this in a new tab here and go to my team member archive and actually my team member page, I apologize. And we are going to edit with Oxygen. Now that we're here, we can choose where we want this to show up. So I think that maybe I am in my top section here, I'm going to add a spot under the about me here. So I could actually probably just put this right in. We're gonna see how this looks here. So I'm just gonna click add and we're gonna use a short code. It goes right to the bottom there. And if I paste that in, it should start pulling some of our data here. So now you can see that it's not styled at all. And we have our main title there, our address that it was pulling, and that featured image as our thumbnail here. So you can see it's pulling all that in. And I'm not gonna style this in here right now. I'm just gonna click Save. Go over to my team archive and hit Refresh. And now if we go in and look at one of our team members, we can see that's showing here. I'll go back and go to the next one. And this one you can see is a little bit different. And it's just because of how the address was put in. And I can quickly show you that here. So if I go to locations and international office, within um my block here i'm just i strictly just entered everything in here and clicked enter for each line here and clicked update and in my home office i actually entered this as html and that way i could take out any extra tags on it um, so you may have to play around with your styling a little bit so keep that in mind do check that um, what you're getting as your output. Because if I do go over here and um, inspect this here, is you can see that I actually have a um, paragraph tag after each line here, and that may not be what you want. So that is where you're gonna find um, that is in, in this section. If you take it and just set it as HTML, which now I'll go back to my last one. And if I target that again, you can see that um, it does not have paragraph tags after each one. <clears throat> so if we want to style this a little bit more, we can do that. Um, if I go back into my view, which is Metabox and Views and Relationships for Teams, is you know I can write some HTML in here and call this uh, um, H2 here, and you can see it auto completes that. So if you want, just cut that um, the closing H2 and put it on there, and we'll do a paragraph here. And again, you can see that it closes it for me. So I'm going to do the same thing, just cut it and paste it at the end. And then my image source, I'm just going to leave that one the same. Click update. And now if I go back to the front end, you can see that I have a nice title in there. It's a separated a little bit. And even if I go back to my... Um, other one here that has the international address you can see that shows a little um, kind of the same but we do have our um, title showing here and this way you can just pull in like it says relationship data from different custom post types or um, something of that nature so again this was a quick basic overview of how to do that again once we went in and made our relationship we then used views in order to be able to put the data together to pull into our actual um, 
page that we're building within Oxygen. And that's what I believe to be the simplest way without having to do any um, additional PHP code writing. This just makes it a lot easier. And I'll include the um, Metabox relationships um, documentation here, the link to it in the description below. So go ahead and check that. I really didn't need to use that too much to do this. Um, again, I just used my views to build out what I wanted within my um, relationship fields. And again, I connected locations data into my team's custom post type. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you have questions, please let me know. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.